and welcome back to HLS Crypto. My name is Dan. Let me get this out of the way. So today, something feels very wrong. Um, is it just me or does something feel very wrong here? So I like my gut feeling. I think it's a good indicator and I think it's an ancestral, it's not like it's something ancestral within us. I think it's been a survival guide for many an ancestor along the way. Bitcoin is pumping. So of course, everyone should be over the moon, right? It should be a cacophony of high fives. Uh, everyone slapping each other on the back, all really happy times. You know, this is it. We're here. You know, this is this is kind of the way it's going to be now. Um, but something just doesn't sit right at the minute in my gut. So my gut is troubled. Uh, I'm not a bear in any way, uh, although I probably look a bit like one at the minute. Um, more like a koala, I guess. Um, but so I'm not a bear, as you know, anyone who's been a, a long term viewer of the channel, know I'm not a bear. Uh, and I'm very, very bullish on the future of Bitcoin and on the future of all the alts or not all of them, obviously, but, you know, a, a decent amount of the ones that are, are currently hold uh, as we move towards the halvening and the 2025 bull run. Um, but it does feel that we're seeing a bit too much bullish sentiment right now. Um, if you have a look at, like, for instance, X.com uh, on the trending side, on the right hand side there. You've got Bitcoin and BTC. So obviously, it's the same thing, uh, just written differently. But it appears to me as though both are trending, uh, both um, you know, hashtags, essentially. So that shows me that there's going to be a lot of eyes on this. Does that then increase the level of FOMO? I think it does, uh, which you know can be a concern at this stage of a, of a market cycle. We're not you know, in the, 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 the peaks of a bull run yet by any stretch. Now, as human beings, we're often, we often self-sabotage, right? We often do this when things are good or when things are bad. <coughs> Excuse me, still, still not feeling good. Let me explain. Um, when things are going good, a lot of people, they go, oh, this can't last. Uh, something bad has to happen. Nothing is always good, et cetera, et cetera. And this is due to the fact that deep down, we often feel like we don't deserve good things to happen to us. And this is very much a subconscious thought that then manifests through the conscious mind, in my opinion. So with that in mind, um, is a crash imminent? Well, prior to today, I was thinking we'd be on a nice steady climb into Christmas, a nice healthy pullback in January as the cost of Christmas obviously builds up and different things like that. Uh, and as a kind of last chance to fill up uh, before the halve and uh, whilst continuing to DCA along the way and then you know take a look at the prices in April and May and see if are we continue to DCA or just then proceed to buy the dips. So that's obviously something we'll, uh, we'll be assessing or reassessing at least, you know, when when April comes and goes. However, I think we are more, we have pumped a bit too much right now. And I'm thinking a crash is more likely than we first thought. Now, obviously, this is only my opinion and it isn't financial advice because obviously nothing on the channel is. Um, but if we look at this, which I've shown you before as well, it's the, you know, it's the cycles and, ha and how these four year periods sort of pl plan out. So if we look here, we had a red candle. We look here, we've had a red candle. We look here, we have a red candle. Are we about to sort of get to that point where we get another red candle? Now, it's interesting because if it is, then it does continue to a, a bit of a similar theme. Um, although different times, um, it's still around about that same area. And it is a concern to me thinking about how um, the whole market right now seems to be ludicrously bullish. I am bullish on the market. I do think this, you know, we, we are on the on the verge of something very, very special, although it just feels like something's wrong. It does feel like something's wrong. So why could this be happening? Well, potentially it could be a liquidity grab, you know, to fund the market makers holiday parties uh, at our expense, because obviously the more you see these things pumping, it often generates a lot of FOMO. People buy in. If they then decided to crash the market, then they're going to take all that liquidity for themselves. Uh, am I selling? No, absolutely not. But I am pausing my DCA. Now, this is quite big. I, I'm, I haven't done this for a long time, but I am pausing my DCA right now. Uh, I'm just going to hold the cash and I'm going to buy the dip. And once again, this isn't advice. It's just my thinking and my gut and what I've decided to do as a result. So you can see that I'm transparent. And I like to keep you all informed about how I see things at different stages in the market. To some, that might be useful. To some, you know, they might not care. They might not even you know consider this as an option, but it's something that, that I'd like to at least be able to say to you that where I am at, on, on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, what, what I kind of feel is, is the next steps. When I say crash, I'm not talking about a huge dump down to 20K uh, Bitcoin, but I do think a significant pullback may be on its way. Uh, but no, not, not, not a crash like 20K Bitcoin. I don't see that uh, coming at all. <coughs> what do you all think? 
am I insane? Is it is it is it is it complete nonsense? Or do you have the, a similar kind of gut feeling? That if you do, then obviously let me know in the comments. It is very interesting. Like, are you thinking that we're off to the races now and it's up only? Or do you think a significant pullback is on its way, creeping up like a cold winter's frost? If we look at the crypto fear and greed index, like I like to look at this, you know, fairly often, probably a bit too much uh, than most. So we're at 74 greed right now. I mean, that isn't, that isn't terrible. Um, I've seen far worse, but it's kind of an indication that we're starting to get into that area. And if we get into extreme greed um, before Christmas, then I can imagine that the sell-off will be higher. Uh, personally, if we look at the cryptocurrency market <clears throat> in general at the minute, so Bitcoin's pumped 5.6% in just 24 hours. That's significant because obviously Bitcoin's market cap is so high. The price is so high. Uh, when it pumps that high, it, it, there's, there's something to, to, to set up and take notice about. Uh, Ethereum also following a very, very similar path. If we look at Bitcoin, you know, isolated, <clears throat> 5.6 is approaching $42,000, which is which is big. Um, and uh, far earlier than I thought that we'd be looking at that. I thought we'd be looking at that, you know, come maybe end of Jan, early Feb. So this is a bit of a spike, in my opinion, uh, that I wasn't, wasn't expecting uh, to be this fast. If you look at the chart of the last 24 hours, that's a significant move. Considering how big Bitcoin is, that's a significant move. Its market cap dominance is over 50%. And it just looks as though there's going to have to be a pullback, in my opinion, at some point. The max chart, obviously, which is one that we'll follow as we do a, a longer, you know, we look at the cycles over a longer period of time, but that does look like a significant pump. You know, this is not uh, a, a 3 to 10 million market cap altcoin. This is Bitcoin. And it is there's a, there's a big green candle there, big, big green um, it is something that is just, it's just slightly concerning. I mean, there's something in my gut going, Ooh, now is this, is something going to happen? And in my opinion, I feel as though it, it is, but again, obviously like, look, I've got nothing against Bitcoin. I think it's, it does, it leads the way. And, um, it's a significant, the most significant, uh, project going, but hmm, something just something sitting right. Something's not sitting right with me. Um, our uh, Patreon, by the way, uh, if you want to go and join our Discord, you can do. Uh, we'll have our weekly call is Wednesday this week. So anyone interested in doing that, feel free. The link's in the description. Come over and have a look at that. Um, other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash the like button. I always appreciate it when you guys do that. It does uh, bring a smile to my face. Uh, we are currently at 2,183 subscribers. So that's huge. Uh, we're still seeing if we can maybe get to 3,000 by Christmas Day. I know that is a significant push. The Christmas live stream obviously is coming as well on Christmas Day. So hopefully we'll have a lot of things to talk about, not just in crypto, but in life in general. And hopefully that'll help you know, a few people who are struggling with the day when it arrives, because uh, you never know how you're going to feel until that day arrives. Uh, but I'll be there. We'll do the live stream. We'll have a chat, whatever it is you wish to talk about. Um, yeah, so subscribers wise, if we can push to that 3,000 mark by then, that'd be great. Um, thank you very much for everyone who has subscribed so far. Uh, comment below anything you want to talk about regarding this uh, significant market move today in Bitcoin. Uh, any altcoins that you're looking at currently that you feel are undervalued, please let me know. Uh, it's always interesting to see what you guys are thinking about buying and actually buying and uh, what you're also thinking about selling. Are you, are you less now bullish on, on particular projects? Let me know in the comments. Wherever you are in the world and whatever you are doing, have an amazing day. Have an amazing evening. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, take it easy. Goodbye.